Hi there, my name is Ronnie. Today we're going to talk about death. Just for all you goths out there, all right? In English, um, we have both a noun and an adjective and a verb to talk about death or dying. Here it is. The adjective is dead. So I can say, he is dead. In this sentence, where's the verb? It is a to be verb. The verb is is. The adjective is dead. An adjective describes the subject or the noun. So you can always remember that an adjective describes a noun. Okay? Um, an adverb describes a verb, but that's a different story. And what we're going to look at though is not only people can die, Nowadays we have a lot of electronic equipment that we can carry with us. For example, cell phones or MP3 players, your iPod. These things run on batteries and we have to recharge them. If we don't recharge them, <gasps> they can die. Oh my god. So, we don't only have to use this with people. We can say, for example, my cell phone died oh my god sorry my cell phone is dead that means that your cell phone is not going to work you need to take it back to your house and put some battery life back into it so again the noun is your phone and what your cell phone is dead. So that's the adjective. So an adjective always talks about or describes the noun. Okay? The next way that we talk about death is to use the verb. The basic form of the verb is to die. This is the present. We can also use for the future if we use will. For example, I, I know this, I will die. 100% sure, I will die. I don't know when, but I am going to die. The second part is a gerund. Now, a gerund is the verb plus ing. So, I can say, my plant is dying. I need to give it water. It's not dead, it is dying. Okay? Then, let's imagine I don't give my plant any water. <clears throat> At my plant's funeral, I can say, My plant died. Very sad. And we have a celebration of death in Canada. Does anyone know what we call it? We don't actually call it a death party. We call it a funeral. <laughs> so if you'd like to think about it as this, a funeral is a death party, where we actually celebrate someone's life, not their death. 
So, if you'd like to test your knowledge on dying or death, go to ingvid.com and you can choose your path.